In this video, I'll be showing you the Longer 3D laser machine that I received from Longer. They've asked me to put together a series of videos in which I'm going to show you how I put the unit together and then make various projects using the cutting and engraving functions. One of the first problems I encountered was trying to figure out how the whole thing should go together. I was stumped because I hadn't gone through the box carefully enough and was missing one of the side frames. It was still in the box. Just like anyone would be, I was excited and didn't go through the checklist carefully enough before I got started. I'm going to speed the video up now, but I do have some close-ups that will show you some of the areas where you might have a bit of trouble. I also have some videos I shot at the end that will show some areas in more detail. So you can see here that I keep laying out my pieces, going back to the instructions, trying to lay them out again, trying to figure them out, go back to the instructions, and I just don't get it. And it's because there's a piece missing. At this point, I realized there must be a piece still in the box. I checked the checklist again to see if I can figure that out, and if not, it must be in the box. Well, look at that, there's a piece missing. It was under a piece of foam. Makes total sense now because you've got four pieces to make the square frame and then you've got the side or the the railing that the laser sits on in the middle. One thing that wasn't very clear to me in the instructions was exactly how the piece fit in to each other. When you're trying to fit them in, turn them around, try them another way, and that's what ended up working for me. And that laser, the piece that holds the laser, slides onto the side railings as you're seeing right now in, this, in the film. you'll see that I constantly go back to the instructions and I find if it isn't that clear to you what you're reading, look at the pictures, try to figure it out from that, go back to reading it and then come back to the video and see if that helps you. the timing belt. It says to install the belt with the gears facing in and the smooth side facing out. So you're seeing here the bumpy areas are the, what they're calling the gears and that's what should be facing out. Sorry, that should be facing in and then the smooth side should be facing out. Here I'm showing you where the belt goes around that silver area in the corner and there's a close-up on screen showing you once it's installed. So you just take it and you loop it and you work it around that silver gear on the inside. At this point, I need to pull that timing belt up 
as you can see in the picture there, around another silver gear so that I can then attach it in that box where you see the two wheels. You can see a close-up of that here. Now I need to pull the timing belt and fit it into the slots on that blue thing, as you can see. See those gold tabs? They need to fit inside there. Here I'm attaching the laser module and what you do is you take a screw and screw it, you take two screws actually, you screw them in and then when you need to adjust the laser for whatever project you're working on, you unscrew those two screws. Here I'm getting the cable out for the air assist, which is included with the unit. This part is actually pretty straightforward. You'll see when you're assembling it yourself how it fits in. There are Velcro loops at the top through which that tubing will go so that it slides along and does not get in the way of anything when you're working. Once you've attached the tubing, you just want to make sure that the laser module moves freely all the way across. You'll see here that I'm loosening something. There's a wire inside there that you'll need to pull out that you'll be able to attach. Here I'm loosening the screw so that I'll be able to take that end cap off and then the bottom foot so I'll be able to push the cable through and past any area that it might rub on. Here I'm showing you the honeycomb the pro company provided with the laser. So at first I couldn't figure out where all the cables go, but I've got it now. There are two cable attachments at the back of the laser module. And at the end of the long wire, you've got these two cables, they go there. Another cable end here, that goes over here. This one will go somewhere in this area. It's to attach a limit switch. Just a second, I'll show you. So there are two limit switches that I need to attach and they've got these black cable ends, receptacles I should say, and they're black ends here. So also on the frame here, you've got, you've got this long or wide ribbon and you've got the small white one and a black one. So the small white goes here, the longer white goes here, and this black one is another limit switch connector. It's a little hard to see here, but those little pinholes are where the limit switch goes. You can see that I've got the limit switch attached now, and that prevents the laser module from going any further than it should. So the instructions for the limit switches are not so clear. The pictures make it a little bit difficult to figure out where they go. So this first one is here in the corner, down in this control area. 
The second one is here on the x-axis. You can see those two little pinholes. And when you look at the limit switch, there are two little holes there for installing that. And then there's the cable end for it, which goes into there. Okay, so this part is assembled. The cables are all installed there. Everything is done. The key is in there. They supply a USB cable, which I will be able to connect to my computer because I'll be using Lightburn as the software with this. They also supply a USB key that you can put files on and there's a little USB slot here. Um, the power cord, this is where the power, this is where the power cord goes in. You assemble the power cord here. This the other end is over here. So that's about it. Next we'll be testing out the actual machine.